Hey everybody, it's Dan the Get School Dude once again with another Git tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a directory from one repo and turn it into its own Git repo. Essentially taking one repo and making them two. There's various use cases for when you want to do that. I'm going to talk about that more at the end of the video, but this video is inspired by a comment I got on my remove a file from all Git history video. And if you scroll down here you can see that someone has a, this guy Raj has a very specific question on how to manage a very specific repo setup, but it led to a discussion on uh, how to split things out using git filter branch. So today I figured, you know, why don't we go ahead and show you how to do that. Today's video is going to be the second time we're going to be using this git filter branch command in my video series. This is considered a plumbing command because most users aren't ever going to do this. This is how we rewrite git history. Today we're going to be using the Trick repository, which is an open source simulation framework used by NASA. The reason I'm using this repo instead of my typical Hello World repo is because we're going to be rewriting history today. And this repo has a lot of history, which makes it better for this demonstration. Um, if you look at the, the file structure here, you can see that at the very top of the repository we have a few folders, uh, Trick Source, Trick Sims, uh, a handful of other stuff. Um, and you can see that the history, if I do git log, is very long. And you can actually see with this command, if we make every commit one line, spacebar goes through them all, but if then you pipe it to WC, you can see that there's 1,200 commits in this repository on the master branch, which is what we're on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move this clone of the trick repository off to trick.orig because we're about to rewrite the full history of this repository and so I'm just going to move it off so that it's off on its own side here and I'm going to clone uh, the project again so that we have a second copy where we can rewrite the history. So we have two copies of the repository here. We're going to rewrite the history in this one and I'm keeping this one here so that we can compare it to the original. So let's go ahead and cd into trick and we're just going to arbitrarily pick a directory and say, hey, I want to split this out into its own Git repo. So we could choose any directory here we want. And in your use case, you might want to split multiple directories and multiple repos. And the technique I'm about to show you is how you do it. So we're just going to do it once and we're going to choose the trick source directory to be that directory that we're going to split out into its own repo. So this is the command we're going to use, git filter branch. We're going to use this option, which I'm going to explain in a second. And we're going to use the subdirectory filter. So the first thing we got to give it is the subdirectory. So let's go ahead and give it trick source. And then use the uh, double dash separator to say what, uh, what commit do you want to operate this on. And so we're just going to use the master branch, which is what we're checked out to. Now when I hit enter, it's going to rewrite the history. You can see it going right now. So what it's doing here is it's essentially rewriting all the commits to exist as if they were created with only the trick source directory, meaning it essentially purges the history of everything else. And now that this is complete, if we look and we just do an ls in here, we will see the content that was under the trick source directory, meaning this sort of became the top level of the project. So if we wanted to be complete here, we might want to rename this trick underscore source. To be clear, now that we have rewritten this trick repository to contain just trick underscore source, everything under here is the full history of just that subdirectory. So you only really want to do this when you need the full history, which basically implicitly means that everything in this git log essentially touched a file under that directory. But going back to trick.orig here, let's say you don't need the full history and you don't mind starting fresh, you can just copy this, the content of this folder at the state in history, which right now is master, you can copy trick source to its own repository and git init, create a new repo with a new initial commit, rm-r, this guy, to get rid of it and move forward from there. And bam, you've got the exact same thing without preserving the history of this directory. I hope that makes sense. In general, you should really think about the repo organization when you start a project and always be thinking about how it could be improved over time. You know, teams grow, split, projects die off or created, 
there's all kinds of flux that happens in software and it's not like you can just create a repo and it's perfect from then through all time. You really gotta be thinking about these things as you go through the life cycle of a project. You don't want to just arbitrary split code up into its own repo because it is something different than something else. That's a common mistake I see a lot. In other words, just because two pieces of code are logically different, that's not actually a good justification for making it its own repo. What's more important is how do these things test, who's using them, how many developers you have. There's a lot of things going into that, but that's a topic for a whole other video. Anywho, thanks for watching. If you have ideas on other videos you'd like to see, be sure to leave a comment. I'd love to hear about it. And do me a favor, get add that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Dan, the Get School Dude, and I'll see you guys next time.